Welcome to iLecture Online and now let's take a look at the rectangular solid. So here we have a cube or a box. Uh, notice that the sides opposite of one another are going to be equal to one another. They're going to be congruent inside. Also notice that we drew a line along, along the diagonal of the bottom and we drew a diagonal from the corner, the left bottom corner to the top or to the back top right corner. Hmm, that is called the diagonal of the solid. And this would then be the diagonal of the face, in this case the diagonal of the bottom. Of course, the length of the diagonal of the faces will depend upon the size of the faces as well. Now if we take this triangle made by those two lines and this edge right here of the solid, we have this triangle right there. So this line right here, the dotted line that goes from one corner here to the opposite corner on the other side of the solid is called the diagonal of the solid, runs from corner A to corner G or from vertex A to vertex G. Then we have the diagonal along the bottom, which is this line right here. And notice that this line right here, the rib of the solid or the edge of the solid, and the line along the, the diagonal of the bottom, they form a right angle. So that figure there forms a right triangle with the hypotenuse equal to the diagonal of the solid and the bottom length here, the bottom leg equal to the diagonal of the bottom. And then this, of course, would be the length of the side running from C to G. Something interesting to note, because always people wonder about that, is that indeed a right triangle? And sure enough, it is. So that is the definition of a regular solid. And the diagonal lines are run along the face and along the diagonal of the solid, forming another right triangle. And that's how we know that.